This is the video of plant developmental biology, where we'll be discussing about the structure of ovule and pollen in plants. This will be the overview of these structures so that we can understand the fertilization and other processes in upcoming videos. In this diagram, you can see the outline of ovule. Inside the ovule, it has got two synergid cells shown here in the pink color. And it has one important cell called the egg cell embedded in these synergid cells shown here in the blue color. So from this side, we have two synergid cells and an egg cell. Now on the opposite side, there are three antipodal cells. And the rest of the space is the central cell having two polar nuclei. Now to the synergid side, we have got the opening of ovule called the micropyle. And this part shown here is the funiculus, which connects the ovule with placenta. So these are the major structures found within the ovule. Now let's see what are the functions of these different cells. First we have synergid cells. These synergid cells play a major role in pollen tube guidance. They release signaling molecules which attract the pollen tube towards the micropylar end. Like synergid cells release liver peptides which draw pollen tube towards the micropyle. Other functions include pollen reception and pollen burst which will be discussed in different part of the video. What are these signaling molecules? Secondly, we have egg cell, which is the female gamete in plants from which the zygote forms. From zygote, there will be embryo and finally we will get the seed. The third important cell in the ovule is the central cell, which is having two polar nuclei in it. Upon fertilization with one of the two sperm cells from pollen, it forms triplied endosperm to nourish the embryo development. So its function is to nourish embryo during the developmental phase. And then finally, we have antipodal cells whose function remains still unknown in Arabidopsis. But in maize plant, it has been observed to function as a nutritive cell for embryo. Now let's see what is the structure of pollen and what are the cells present in the pollen. The pollen is two-walled structure. It has got one internal wall and one external wall. The internal wall is called the intine and the external wall is called the exine. The gaps or pores in the exine part are the germ pores from where the pollen tube will grow out. Now looking inside the pollen, it has got vacuoles and it has got a tube or vegetative nucleus. So the whole cell is tube cell or vegetative cell. Furthermore, it has got another important cell inside it called the generative cell. This generative cell later on forms two male gametes. It's either on pollen shedding or during the tube formation, the generative cell divides into two sperm cells. We see the pollen is lodged onto the stigma while from it will grow into pollen tube as shown in the diagram. In front of pollen tube, it has got tube nucleus followed by two male gametes. The function of tube nucleus is to grow this pollen tube. Later on, it disintegrates before the fusion of gametes. This pollen tube will grow through the micropyle and will be received by synergid cells. So from where the fertilization part will start, which will be discussed in the next part of the video, the fertilization mechanism in plants. So this is all about structure of ovule and pollen. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.